What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video of the Point After Podcast. Week number three is here, and it's time we start talking Auburn versus Penn State. Another revenge game from 2021 where Auburn goes on the road to Happy Valley. Ends up losing a very close game late in the fourth quarter. I said it a couple weeks ago that I think 2022 is the quote-unquote revenge season where a lot of teams that lost those type of games are going to come back and start winning in 2022. So far, I'm 2-0. BYU beat... Uh, Baylor on Saturday, Tennessee traveled to Pitt and upset, well, not upset, but beat them on the road. I'm leaning towards the same thing happening again here today. I'm not going to give an official prediction, but I will say that I, I've, I've been high on the revenge train in 2022, and I think that trend is going to continue for a couple reasons. When Penn State played Purdue in week number one, they had a lackluster start. They were really slow. Couldn't get really anything going offensively. Um, it was a very close game. They ended up winning that with a game-winning drive late in the fourth quarter. Auburn, when you come to play in Jordan-Hare, it's truly a different environment. Uh, we've seen a number of games be decided basically because of home field advantage. I mean, you look at Florida versus Utah, BYU, and Baylor. BYU's crowd played a huge factor. Texas and uh, Alabama, that last Saturday was – Something that playing in Bryant Denny probably would have been a different outcome for Alabama. I think they played would have played a lot better. And home field advantage is a true factor, especially in college football. You look at North Carolina going on the road to Vautech last year, going to App State this year. Um, I can't say the same for Texas A&M, however, but that's something that is truly a competitive advantage for home teams, especially when you have that 12th man, the quote-unquote. So, it's going to be a game where you're going to get Auburn's best game. This is similar to Texas versus Alabama, where Texas, this is what they had. BYU versus Baylor, that's what, I mean, you look at how Baylor's defense played that game, they were pissed off from start to finish. They were not losing that game. BYU's offense severely struggled. I think you're going to get the similar thing here. Sean Clifford has been, he's been there for 10 years. I mean, he's a heck of a quarterback, but... There's been times where Sean Clifford just hasn't been consistent. If Penn State wants to win this game, it's going to have to be Sean Clifford taking over. Sean Clifford throwing for 250 and then them running for another 100 on the ground with Nick Singleton. It's it's truly going to have to be an offensive showing from Penn State. You may have to drop 30 or 40 to win the game because you know what Auburn's going to do? They're going to run the football. They're not going to let you stay on the field. They're not going to let you score any points. That's what Auburn's built off of. I mean, their leading rusher on Saturday against San Jose State was their backup quarterback. Now, I would expect Robbie Ashford to eventually start playing a little bit more because TJ Finley is just not getting it done. Uh, he threw for um, – He's got three interceptions and one touchdown on 34 passing attempts through two games against FC, well, one FCS opponent and one G5 opponent. So I think Robbie Ashford is probably the better quarterback for Auburn. Question is, when is he going to start playing? Um, so like I said, I'm not going to give an official prediction here today. You're going to have to come back on Thursday or Friday for that in our best bets. But if Auburn wants to win this game, you're going to have to do exactly what I said. You're going to have to hold the ball. You're going to have to run it. And you're going to have to capitalize on every possession. You can't turn the ball over and expect to win. You're allowing like 60-something yards per game on the ground. You're going to have to keep that. But you're also going to have to lower that number of passing yards. Uh, San Jose State threw for 275 last Saturday. Which San Jose State is a very, very pass-heavy team. They threw it 40 times. And your starting quarterback hasn't thrown it 40 times in two games. Uh, Sean Clifford is capable of beating you with his arm. It's just a question of will he do it? Because like I said, he's got severe uh, inconsistency problems. And again, I like I like the Auburn home field advantage in their favor. I think their defense always plays well at home. Hopefully, Brian Harson gets them up for another big game. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think and how this one's going. Uh, it's a little too early. I'm recording this on Monday morning, so it's a little too early for me to make an official prediction. Like I said, come back on Friday. Hit that subscribe button. We're 50 away from 200. Um, and I will see you guys on Friday with this official prediction and many more.